Hello friends, welcome back. So in this video, I will be talking about uh, generations of computer. There are totally five generations of computers which we are going to demonstrate in this video. So let us try to understand the first generation of computer. What is all about first generations of computers? So first generations of computers is in the time period of 1940 to 1956. So basically in the first generation computer, the technology being used is vacuum tubes. The key features in this first generation computers are it consumes high power. Basically these vacuum tubes are very extremely large in nature and even these computers which they manufacture is completely going to fill the bigger rooms and its processing speed is very slow in nature in the first generation and basically these first generation computers making use of machine language which is binary in nature either 0 or 1 and all the inputs for these devices are accepted via punched cards as well as output via printers due to it there are a lot of frequent failures used to happen as well as it is very difficult to program as well because we'll have to punch everything uh, using punch card as an input. Some of the examples of first generation computers are ENIAC, UNIVAC and IBM 701. This will move on to the second generation computers. In second generation computer, we will call from 1956 to 1963. That is the time we have manufactured second generation computers. These were manufactured with the technologies called as a transistors. Vacuum tubes were replaced with a transistor. The transistors are very small in size and these are somewhat faster compared to vacuum tube as well as more reliable as well as energy efficient. Here in transistor generation computers, we normally use the assembly language plus high level languages as well such as Fortran, as well as COBOL. With the Fortran and COBOL, there was a concept of improved visibility as well. Some of the examples of uh, second generation computers are IBM 1401 and PDF1 as well as Anivel 200. These were some of the second generation computers. Third generation computer. The third generation computer period was 1964 to 1971. Here, in place of transistor, they were started using integrated circuits. Integrated circuits were very small in nature and uh, all these integration chips uh, as multiple transistor in it in a single chip, which are very smaller in nature and very faster as well as more reliable with this uh, integrated chips and it is having a features of multitasking the computer could run multiple applications very simultaneously and it has very compact design very small designs uh, in these computers and it is affordable as well some of the examples of third generation computer are IBM uh, system 360 p 8 and Anivel 6000 series and the fourth generation computer which is from 1971 to present which is in current uh, which is making use of microprocessor as a technologies here microprocessors are integrated with the millions of transistors into a single chip here the emergence of personal computers was evolved in from 1971 onwards we started seeing personal computer earlier there were huge computers uh, with a big in size but uh, from 71 onwards we started seeing personal computer here it makes use of uh, very good user interfaces and it had a capability of networking as well internet and the rise of laptops as well as handheld devices uh, uh, from fourth generation computer onwards some of the examples of fourth generation computers are Apple II, IBM PC, Intel uh, 4004. These were uh, widely enabled uh, use of computers for both uh, homes as well as uh, businesses in the fourth generation computer. The last one is fifth generation computers. The fifth 
generation computers were present behind. Here, the technologies were used very robust in nature, which makes use of artificial intelligence, quantum computing. These are the top technologies being currently used in these uh, fifth generation computers. Here, more on focus on artificial intelligence, robotics, as well as neural networks, use of cloud computing, IOTs, as well as natural processing languages being used in the fifth generation computer and uh, that helped us to having a parallel processing as well as quantum computing. Some of the examples for fifth generation computers are IBM Watson, Google Mine and quantum computers. These are the certain information related to all the generations of computer from first generation to fifth generation. I hope uh, you guys got a clear idea on how to explain these various different uh, generations of computer in your exhibitions. I hope uh, you guys got all the information. If you guys really like this video, please click on like button. If you are not subscribed, do subscribe. Thanks for watching this video. Bye for now. Take care.